what better time period to release a uh, to release a politically charged satire in the midst of a nasty coronavirus which has delayed my spring break a <laughs> Greetings, it is TVB. I'm here in uh, Denver. Uh, it's spring break, so I have like a week and a half off basically. So, like, they extend my spring break because of the virus has been like the coronavirus. So, yeah, everyone, please stay safe, you know, this week and you know, until the virus blows over, of course. Anyway, The Hunt is a uh, political satire action thriller that centers around like a dozen people that are like kidnapped and tied up and they find themselves out in the middle of nowhere and they're being hunted by this group of other people and it's like a it's like I said it's a political satire and there's not just like brainless action scenes going on there's like a, a lot of I guess sort of commentary and jabs at our political our certain like social political scene here in the United States so I saw all the commercials for the hunt and I really didn't know what to expect going to it. People were saying, oh, it's so controversial. Oh, it's so, like, gratuitous. It's so over the top. It's so, like, shock value. It's like, I went into it knowing that, but I really went into it, like, trying to be as open as I could. It's like, okay, this could be good, this could be bad, this could be somewhere in between. And I was expecting this film to be, like, kind of a mindless thriller. But it's not, I wouldn't, like, there are definitely, like, some mindless scenes for sure, but I wouldn't call this film, like, completely, like, brainless, because there is, like, a lot of, like I said, jabs at, like, different political parties in the United States. It's not, like, Parasite, where it was a critique on rich versus poor. This is more, like, a critique on the left and the right. And there's, like, a lead performance from uh, Betty Giplin. Like, there is a protagonist in this movie. It's kind of hard to tell that, uh, you know, from the first, like, 30 minutes, because you, they follow these characters that are, like, uh, you know, played by different other actors and actresses, like, oh, okay, so that's gonna be our main character. Oh, no, they just died. Okay, never mind then. But, yeah, there is, like, a lead performance from Betty Giplin, who's just, like, you know, don't take crap from nobody, like, tough girl from, like, upper Mississippi, and, you know, she's really determined to figure out what's going on and get out of this whole scene alive. The performance is pretty top-notch, but, I think this film kind of falters in, like, the consistency of mood, I guess I could say. Like, the pacing is a little too jumbly for its own good, I feel like. It's a little too fast-paced, and the ending, it kind of slows down a little bit, and, you know, it's not very consistent. There's flashbacks and other things like that. And, like, I, I get it, this is trying to make political jokes, but I feel like it's a little too on the nose for its own good at a few scenes. Even by, like, satire standards. Because, guys, there's a difference between commentary and satire commentary is like it's trying to reinforce a message to get a point across the audience while satire is like it's poking fun at a certain like theme or issue or what have you this film does a lot more of that than just be commentary because if it was going for commentary commentary and action scenes with over-the-top violence don't really go together now satire and over-the-top violence go hand in hand excellently if you do it right of course like there were a few well-timed jokes and there were a few like instances where it's like, yeah, I could see, like, the point they're trying to get across here. I mean, I don't want to go into any spoilers or anything, but I feel like there's some, like, bits of dialogue and, like, b b characters getting their viewpoints across their perspective of political sides on the, on, you know, different issues. And it's just all way too obvious, and it's kind of, it's honestly cringy at a few scenes. And walking out of the theater, I was really, like, determined to just give this movie, like, a big fat, like, no, nah, I didn't like this movie, but at the same time, for what it is, I can tell this movie was, like, you know, trying... It wasn't trying too hard. It was definitely trying to get a message across with Betty Giplin facing off against all these other people. And, like, oh, there's all these different issues that are being addressed, all these issues that are being made fun of. And I can see why this film will divide a lot of people. I can see why there's a lot of, like, mixed receptions about it. But I think the key to getting as much out of this film as you can by going into it is really just don't, like, just watch it with an open mind, and don't, like, you know, take anything to, like, to heart, because you might think, oh, they're just completely berating me for being conservative, oh, they're just completely berating me for being a liberal, oh, they're just completely berating me for being a centrist, or they're just berating me because I support the Second Amendment, or, uh, I believe in climate change, or I'm against trophy hunting, or I'm against capitalism, or, you know, abortion, or, you know, I'm, a, I'm like, anti-open borders, blah, 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 like, just... Just watch it with an open mind and try not to get offended at scenes. Like, I'm very difficult to offend, but sometimes the most offensive subjects 
are the ones that have to be addressed the most. I think this film acknowledges that and kind of like, you know, pokes fun at as as long as I can. I appreciate the film for doing that. I just wish that it wasn't like, you know, as over the top of that in a few scenes, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, guys, uh, The Hunt is, I can understand why it, oh, there's a lot of mis mixed reception about it. Heck, I didn't really know what to think about this film after leaving it before and after leaving the theater. I was just like, mm, do I, like, what are my thoughts on this film? But, you know, after further consideration and, you know, for what it is, I'm giving The Hunt a 6 out of 10 stars. It's a passable film. So, The Hunt, please tell me, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below, please, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This week, while, you know, I'm off school, I'm going to be trying to get as much homework done as I can, you know, before school kicks back in. When I get back to school next week, it's going to be all online classes because of, you know, the virus. You know, I guess I don't want a lot of students, you know, just cramped together in one tiny classroom, you know, just for the sake of keeping the place sanitary. But, yeah, honestly, it, it could be worse. I mean, open, like, online classes, yeah, it's going to be harder to stay consistent. And, you know, the, yeah, it's not really my learning style, but I, I'm going to make it work. And hopefully I'll have a lot more time to myself and, you know, make more videos for you guys. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice night.